Okay, here we go. Independent practice, page 189. I asked you to do 1 through 13 odd. All right, so here we go. Number one, the answer is 30. Number two, the answer is 160. I know it looks like a weird G. Number five, the answer is 240 tons. I don't think I wrote the tons there. Let me do that. No, no, no. Hold on. That's for the next one. Number seven is 80 million tons. Number nine, you, must, you have to see the notes. And number 11, same thing. And the answer for number 13 is about $12. Okay. So let's just get to it then. For one, three, and five, it just says estimate the product. We can do that. All right. Number one, 9.7 times 3.3. .3. Okay. This is pretty straightforward. I'm going to add 1, which just makes it 10. This becomes 0, 10.0. I'm looking at the ones place, ones place. But I should have done that first, but here's the thing. Eventually, guys, you'll get to the point where you won't even look at the place value. You just kind of do it in your head automatically, which is kind of bad because you can make a simple mistake, and that could cost you. All right, I look to the right. That's 4 or less. This stays the same. This becomes 0. 10 times 3 is about 30, so the answer is 30. And you know what? I should say that 10 times 3 is 30, but this answer is about the answer for this uh, problem here. Okay? Pretty straightforward. Number 3, 17.5 times 8.4. Whew, okay. 17.5 times 8.4. Okay. Eight point four. Okay, there's a reason I did. Whew. Now let's before I do this problem again. The reminder here is to do the math or set up the problem so that it's easy to do in your head. Okay. Now here, this is pretty straightforward. I'm looking at the ones place. That's four or less. That that means this stays the same. Okay. That's pretty straightforward. Now this one. <sighs> with what I said, you want to stay as close to the original as possible. So I could look at the ones place and make this 18. Hope you understand why. But if I look at the tens place, I realize, you know what? This becomes 20 because 7 is, is 5 or more. It's, it's in that group. So I had 1. This becomes 2. So now I have 20 times 8 which is 160, and that's what the book said. So this is about 160. Now, you could have done this. This would have been a more accurate um, estimate. But again, if you can do this in your head quickly, by all means. But 20 times 8 is much easier. I love numbers that end in zeros because they're so easy to multiply. Okay, that's that's the truth of it. Numbers that e that end in zero are much easier to multiply. Now this would be uh, 144, I believe. But that's just me. I don't expect you to to be at that level. Now if you are, that's great. But I have to admit, this is much easier. And oh, in case you're asking, well, how'd you get 17? How'd you get 18? If I look at the ones place, right? You can see where this is going, right? I'll just leave it there. All right, number five, 28.21 times 8.02. Okay. Again, as you do these problems, ask yourself, what numbers will make the math easier to do in my head? Now, I said, okay, look at the place value. Look at the place value. One's place is the highest one. Ten's place is the highest one for this one. All right. This becomes three because I had one zero and everything else after zero zero and this i'm looking at eight next to it is zero that's definitely less than five so this stays the same this becomes zero zero and 30 times eight is 240 okay again i can do this in my head much easier i'm sure you can too all right number seven on average, the U.S. produces 36.5 million tons of fruit each year. About how much fruit does it produce in 2.25 years? Ooh, boy. Okay. How should we do this? The 
36.5 million. Let's just ignore that for right now. I mean, it's there. It's going to, it's going to matter times 2.25 years. All right. One's place is pretty straightforward. This stays the same. This becomes zero, zero, 2.00. 0. Biggest one is tens place. I look to the right. That's five or more. I add one. Five or more raise the score. That becomes four. Everything else after becomes 40. I'm sorry. <laughs> Everything else after becomes zero. You know, I have to work, work, work on stay, staying mindful of where I'm at, staying in the present. All right. So I have 40 times two. And that works out to 80 million. Okay. So this is approximately 80 million. Okay. Why did I write the N? <laughs> or the S? It's 80 million, not 80 millions. Okay. Number nine. Hannah's hourly wage at the ice cream shop is $5.85. The table shows the number of hours she worked. She estimates her earnings to be $120. Without calculating her actual earnings, determine if her estimate is more or less than her actual earnings. Explain your reasoning. Oof. All right. For this one, I'm going to have to actually copy the chart, if you don't mind. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And by the way, this is something you will do, actually, when you get a job. Okay? Because you want to know, based on how much you get paid, you make plans with that money. Right? Do I have enough for this? Do I have enough for that? So you will end up doing this. 3.75. 2.5. All right, here's the deal. You're going to have to estimate all these to the nearest, well, to the nearest ones place, because that's the biggest one. All right. I'm not going to spend too much time on the work. I think at this point, some of you can get it. 3.5 becomes 4.0. If you don't believe me, do the work. Prove me wrong. Okay, 4. I look to the place value to the, net, to the right. It's 4 or less. The 4 stays the same. Okay. 3.75. This becomes 4. 2.5. This becomes 3.0. 4.75. This becomes 5.00. You know, let me add the place values just to see what's going on. Okay, now for this one, I went up. This one, I went down a little bit. This one, I went up. Went up. My estimate is more than the actual number. All right. So how many hours did I work? Four plus four plus four is 12. Plus three is 15. Plus five is 20. So I worked, or not me. <laughs> I'm not the one doing the job. What's her name? Hannah. She worked 20 hours. So 20 hours times $5.85. Okay, let's do the work for this one. I look at the ones place, look to the right. It's five or more. I add one. So she basically makes six dollars an hour. And then twenty times six. Just look at the six and the two, that's twelve. And add all those. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> there are all those zeros. $120. Okay. Now, the question is, is this estimate more than what she's actually going to earn or less? Well, all her hours are, are rounding up. She's actually getting paid for more time than she actually put in, except for this one. So yeah, this is way more than, well, I should say way more, but it is more than what she should be getting, right? So the question that, so the answer is more. The estimate is more. Okay. Then what she actually earns. <laughs> Let me finish that. Then the 
Nerds. Okay. That's number nine. Okay, number 11 is one of those situations, again, where you get paid and you want to estimate what you're getting paid because you have plans. All right, so here's the deal. This person, excuse me, this person makes $5.50 an hour. Okay? And I guess he wants to buy a video game system that's $200. Now, you know that's old because <laughs> most video game systems are not $200 unless he wants to buy a used older one, which is fine. So he already saved $68, right? He wants to buy this $200 system. So let's see what the question is. <laughs> I was almost ready to answer. How much more money does Raj need until he has enough to buy the video game system? Okay, well, that one should be pretty basic. Okay. Just for the sake of argument, let's just, <laughs> this is in dreamland. He wants to get a PS5. Let's just pretend it's $200. He has 68. Okay. How much more does he need? Well, this should be a pretty simple subtraction problem, right? This is what he ha this is what he needs to have. This is what he actually has. How much more does he need to get to that? So I'm going to show this in a weird common core way. $68 plus something to get to 200. Now, how much does he need? Well, you're going to subtract. I think intuitively you know that, right? I'm just showing you the common core way. <laughs> okay, so this is letter A. He's going to need minus 68. Okay. Nope, nope. You have to regroup. That becomes 1. That's 10. You regroup. That's 9. Regroup. 10 minus 8 is 2. 9 minus 6 is 3. All right. So he needs... $132 more. He needs to save $132 more. All right. To be pretty basic, hopefully you understand why it's that. Okay. Letter B. I think you know what's coming. Raj estimates that if he works for 20 hours, He'll have enough to buy the video game system. Is he correct? All right. This is what he needs. So he says, okay, I got to work about 20 more hours and I'll get the system. But if I make $5.50, let's see if that actually works out. Okay. All right. Let's round this up. Let's just say I make $6 an hour, right? Because five or more, I add one of this. Twenty times six. $120. <laughs> so does he have enough? Will 20 hours of work be enough to get his system? I hope you can see. The answer is no. Nope. He won't have enough. He needs he needs to work more hours. Okay. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Last question, number 13. A scooter can travel between 22 and 28 miles on each gallon of gas. If one gallon of gas costs between $3.35 and $3.95 per gallon, about how much will it cost to travel 75 miles? Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. This is going to be a weird one. All right. So we have the scooter. And again, I'm not an artist. Let's see if I can do this right. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not a scooter. All right. But the scooter can go between 22 and 28 miles. Per gallon on each gallon of gas per gallon of gasoline all right now the gas costs between 370 375 and 395 395 okay 
Whew, okay, let's let's figure out something. Now the gas if I estimate both uh dollar values, it comes out to four dollars. And this add one I should have had the one plus one here, but I think you guys got that. Okay. So the gas more or less is four dollars per gallon. For gallon that's the price of gas, of gasoline. All right. <sighs> Between 22 and 28. Now this is where it gets tricky. 22 and 28 per gallon. Now, if it was me, if this was a real world example, I'd rather underestimate the, the gallons, the miles I can go on a gallon of gas, right? If I overestimate, if I say I can go 30 miles per gallon, when it really can only go 20, I'm not going to have enough gasoline. Okay. But let's, let's think about this. So instead of 22, maybe we should do 20, right? 20. Let's just do 20. So 22, 28. Now, I, let me just do what I just did and I'll tell you what, what I'm doing. This obviously becomes 20, right? This becomes 30. But in a real world situation, I'd rather underestimate than overestimate. Okay, so let's just go with 20. Okay, and 20 miles per gallon. Okay, I want to go 75 miles. Now this one, is, again, this is a real a problem that you really have to just play with. Okay, 20 miles. 20 miles, 20 miles, that's 60, 20 miles, that's 80. Now I know that the person wants to go 75 miles, but let's just say 80 because stuff happens, right? So if I'm going 80 miles, if I need to go 80 miles, right? And every 20 is $4. I'm going to spend $16. Now, I know the book said 12. The book said 12. Now, it says about 12, right? So $16, $16 is about 12, right? So, and I'm thinking real world experience because I've been traveling. I'm sure you've traveled too where with your parents and hopefully you've never had to deal with this, but maybe you've seen your dad plan out the cost of gasoline, the cost, how long, the, how much the triple cost. And I'm, I'm going to tell you what my dad told me. Better to over plan than it's better to overestimate some things and underestimate others. Now, here I underestimated. I'd rather say that I'm going 20 miles per gallon instead of 28 because that's going to be way too much, right? So, I think what the book did was they said, okay, 28, let's round it to 30, right? 30, 30, 30. Oh, well, there we go. $4. For every 30. So they got 12. And they say, but that, that, that'll take you 90 miles. But this average here is killing me. Now they could have gone right in the middle. Let's just say 25. But that's neither here nor there. I, I just went to 20. I skipped the 28 part. I said, you know what? Let's just say 20. That way I, I'd rather have too much gasoline than not enough. Okay. So I plan accordingly with my money. All right. Better to have too much money for gas than not enough money for gas. Anyways, I'll leave it at that. And that is the independent practice. I hope this made sense.